All right, this is going to be the spark arrestor hookup. Let's see if this thing's going to work. Um, had quite a few people engage me on the uh, capacitors in this reliable 1500 watt inverter that the capacitors, uh, when you hook it up to your main power source and to your batteries, you get that large spark and that large spark could you know ultimately damage thing things and I think that may have led to damaging one of the BMS's in uh, one of my faulty batteries over there so what I've got going here is I've got four good batteries they're all charged to 41 volts I've got them running down the powers through a pigtail that I made uh, pigtail comes down through the BMS activator board BMS activator board goes out and attaches to the actual blue wires in each one of the uh, scooter batteries. And uh, I made sure that each one was out of hib hibernation. Um, I did that by just taking my simple voltmeter here and hooking it up in line on each one of them and making sure that it showed voltage. So what we're going to do now is try the spark arrestor. See how that works. Bear with me here while I try to get set up where you can see it. Um, I purchased these off of Amazon. They were $12.50. And you get five sets. One thing that was pretty nice is you also got the caps. So these caps right here. So let's see how this works. Now, we're supposed to just plug it in part way. Like that. For a second or two. And then plug it in all the way. And sure enough, I got no spark. And I do have power. Well, so that might have saved some things. Let's just make sure that things are going to work here. We'll try a bank of uh, light bulbs. Okay, I'm a kilowatt there. That <sighs> what the heck? Why would all of them go? Why would all of them go and not leave one or so of the battery packs on? Okay, let's unhook two battery packs. Turn off those light bulbs. Let's unhook. Okay. We waited to one minute. It did come back up again. So, that is off. Those are off. I unhooked one battery. So now we're running three batteries through the. Wait just a second. Plug it in all the way. It worked. Okay, I'm only burning two light bulbs. That's not that much, but I guess it's enough to... Uh... What am I doing wrong? I'm just checking all my wires and stuff here. And they are all connected. Okay. Let's see what happens. 183 watts. Okay, so it's acting like the BMS activator board is failing. Okay. Could I have burnt it up? Let's try the let's try the one from Jag 35. Okay, Jag 35 is plugged in. I'm getting a light. Got everything hooked up. 
We'll go slow on this. Ah, looky there. Looky there. Hundred and eighty five watts. Let's jump it up with the other three. Four hundred and fifty five watts. Okay, so did that inrush that I was experiencing the last few days from this thing here, which now I fixed with that anti-spark device. Is it possible that that inrush not only burn out one of my BMSs to where I can't even get the thing to activate now, or is it possible that burn out this activation board? Um, now I do have two two more of these activation boards. So we'll switch this one out and uh, and go from there. Okay, I changed it out. This is the one that may or may not be working. We don't know, so I'm going to set that upside those lights. May or may not be working. I replaced it with one that was known to be working well. Got it all hooked up. And now I'm ready to go with my connection. We'll see how this goes. Go slow. Let it charge up. And then go all the way. Okay. So far so good. So far so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. And I'm going to hook up that fourth battery. All right, what I did off screen here is I just hooked up that fourth battery. So now I'm all running all four batteries off of that one. activator board, dongle, whatever you want to call it, and it is working. Okay. Now I did have uh, one of you guys on that was helping me out say that he just takes a, just takes his DC meter and sticks it on there to make sure that there's amperage going through each line. And uh, that way he can tell if one of his packs shut off or not. And dummy me, when I bought my clamp on, it'll do AC amperage that way, but it won't be do DC voltage that way. So I can't do that. So the only thing I'll be able to do is each, unhook each one individually and stick a meter on it and make sure it's not in hibernation mode. Um, but I've got a whole bunch of these small little meters like this hooked up. Um, and junk pigtails and stuff. So that's what I'll do next. Stay tuned. Okay. Number one, still working. Number two, still working. All right. Number three, still working. And number four, still working. So that's great news. Great news. Okay, so 
it seems to be working. I got my four battery packs. The spark arrestor was a success. It's running, what, 463 watts right now. Did find out that the BMS activator was acting up on me. Um, and as I stand right now, I'm ready to throw this thing in a case, I think, and uh, call it a portable unit. Uh, I did find out I'm supposed to get the other rely or the other 36 volt inverter is coming in this Friday, which is just a few days out. So um, I think before I throw it in a case, I'm going to hook that other one up and do some testing too. So that's it for here for now, and thank you for watching, and appreciate any constructive comments. Thanks.